The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, are two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph! <laughs> Woo! Everybody loves you, Jeremy. Happy Thanksgiving, Scotty, and yeah. fuck right off. <laughs> and also another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. Yeah. yeah you know, uh, Jeremy, I don't know if we've ever discussed this. Would you like to switch seats? <laughs> no. No, I don't. <laughs> Are you sure? I would switch seats with somebody over there. <laughs> uh what? God damn it. Why? I, nothing. I just would rather be drinking a glass of Easy E's blood than sitting next to you. So. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not too terribly bad. Uh, I don't that, even know that you can get anything from drinking it. Yeah. Honestly. I mean. Or are you just saying he's got filthy taste in blood? I bet he does. <laughs> <laughs> he's no vampire. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, Derek's already got me today. We sit down to start recording the podcast, and I get a fucking shit burger right to my face. Thank you for that. Yeah. It stunk. Happy to do it, Scotty. You piece of shit. You know, they say when you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, By the way, whoever said that was wrong. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a shit what. If I had a job eating candy, eventually that'd get old. <laughs> really? Eating candy? Eating candy, yeah. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, but welcome into another excellent episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. For those of you that this is the first episode that you have listened to or watched on YouTube, this is a comedy podcast where you like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast. We like to make loud noises and uh, use foul language. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. I have a question. What's the question? Uh, I can see the camera, right? Yeah. Uh, my head sits up higher than the camera. How in the fuck does the camera seem to manage to capture the top of my fucking head and just how thin my hair is? I don't know. It's magic, Jeremy. That's fucking stupid. Your camera's <laughs> stupid. And it's a liar. I am not as bald as I look in that. I've seen... I own a mirror. I'm not bragging, but I own a mirror. Yeah. And uh, I've seen myself, and I am not that bald. I don't know. I, 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 I challenge that. I think okay. you, are, you are magically balder than I what I just you got a haircut today, <laughs> and she seemed to do a lot of work on the top of my head. <laughs> oh, that's that's just gets paid by the hour. Yeah, exactly. She was using tweezers, Jeremy. I, I did a cut and dash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, shit. Well, we've got a great episode for you guys today. We are coming up on Thanksgiving is right around the corner for us. I don't know about, uh, for other people, but I, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's everybody's holiday in America, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't, Canadians don't have Thanksgiving. Yes, they do. Yes, they, they do. They do. It's a different day. Yeah. It's in October. What? I did not know that. Oh, good for you, Canadians. Yep. Uh, but yes, we've <clears> got, uh. That's the only one I celebrate. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Fair. Um, so Anytime so, we can celebrate taking people's land, right? Just <laughs> taking all their shit. So, so really, so they're you getting go, it back. At you those go into work on casinos. on this Thursday, then? No. Oh, no. I mean, you, then you you actually do celebrate it? No, <laughs> I actually, I don't go into work on Veterans Day either. Oh, but, or uh, Juneteenth, or President's Day, oh. or Wow Bastille Day, or <laughs> Wow Arbor Day, or <laughs> what's the one after uh, Talk Like a Pirate Day? Yeah. I skip all those days, all the days. You okay. should just. To show your support for Canada, you should show up on Thursday and just be at the door. Hey! Let, let me in! I want to work! 
Ah, uh, shit. But we've got an excellent episode. we got some sports news to go over. we got real shit, horse shit, uh, overrated or underrated, questions, preguntas, and a new segment. we got what's in the box, and I'm very excited to, uh, to be able to do that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but before we get on to that stuff, let's talk about what happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap. So, Derek. What? What did you do? Not a fucking thing, Scott. Really? No. All I did was watch sports. I was really, really happy and then really, really irritated. Oh, why were you irritated? Watching sports. Oh. Uh, uh, Illinois wins against UCLA this week. I was pretty pumped for that. I was very irritated there for a little bit. Then they came back there in the second half, and then they lost uh, yesterday. The Bears lost yesterday. Fields got hurt because the offensive coordinator is a dumbass. Mm Mm-hmm. So it everything came up bad, and then at the very to cap it all off, I've been playing. So guilty pleasure, I love the Crash Bandicoot games on PlayStation. Oh yeah, yeah. And they have the fourth one, which might be the hardest fucking game I've ever played. <coughs> really? really, it is fucking stupid hard. Harder like, than really? Frogger. It's up there. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty hard. Um. So like some of these levels, I will play, and I have to be that guy with that game that I have to get a hundred percent. Oh, yeah, sure. To. Absolutely. So I got to get all the boxes and do all this. So I, I, I started on this a while back and then just left it because it was so hard. And I picked it back up about a week and a half ago. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it was, some of those levels would take me an hour and a half, two hours to get through. Jesus. Because you not only have to get triple the amount of boxes, but you also can't die more than three times. Mm-hmm. Or you just uh, you don't get that gem or whatever. Ah, most people only get to die once. So I was pissed mm-hmm. uh, because I was... Probably three quarters of the way through the game, and good old PlayStation doesn't have a lot of memory. Mm-hmm. Somehow I lost almost all my progress. No. I had probably 50 hours sunk into it. Oh, Jesus. And I said, fuck this, and I deleted it off my PlayStation. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> there, on, wow. on, on Saturday night alone, I spent like three hours trying to get through this level without dying three times. Oh shit! It's ridiculously hard. I don't. I know what that feeling is, bro. That is like the worst fucking feeling ever. Yeah. You put so much time into a game and then it just goes away. I had nightmares about that shit. Fuck, that's awful. So yeah, I almost had to buy a new PS Five. <laughs> I started <laughs> screaming and cussing. <laughs> Good luck. You still they're still hard to find. Um, I don't know that I've ever played any of the Crash Bandicoot games. I played it on like PlayStation One when I first moved out here because my stepdad actually bought one for some one of the girls he was dating's like daughters to have something to do when she would come over while they mm, were fucking. Right. Yeah. Sure. And uh, if you turn Crash Bandicoot up loud enough, it kind of <laughs> kind of drowns out the macaroni noises. Sure. Right. So, yeah. Um, but. Yeah, so I started playing it over there one day, one night when I got bored. And Don't tell me what happens, by I, the way. Don't spoil it for me. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to. He came. Oh. He ended up coming. <laughs> oh, did he? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Damn. All over her tits. What wow. about the game? How was that? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm not going to spoil that. Wow, he's got a good girlfriend. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Anything else? No, so that is that is what I did. Is I it weird that your stepdad has a girlfriend? <laughs> no, that was back in the day. This was like fucking when I was... No, that's not weird. Oh. No, I'd fucking totally hate it. Shouldn't his girlfriend be your mom? No. No. Oh. No. Mm-mm. No. For he, he, no, he had a girlfriend when he was dating my mom. Oh, okay. So, Fair enough. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's true. Yeah. All right. Less, uh, less work for her. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, my week sucked. My week really sucked. Uh, all of us. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, asshole. I'm just glad I picked the right button. Yeah, yeah good call, I by the way. Guess. I can't even do that half the time. <laughs> um, but no, it, it started off uh, pretty decent. You know, this last weekend, I, I went and got uh, got my um, year supply of firewood, uh, which is awesome. That, that means uh, I get to have my favorite thing in the world is to have a, a nice wood fire and watch football on Sunday. I fucking love it. It's the best thing in the world. Uh, but I had to load Thank up. Thank God a tree had to die so Scotty can have his ambiance. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. There's plenty of wood in this house we could set on fire. So. <laughs> yeah. If any of you, uh, you know, feel like there's less oxygen in the world, just know it's because of Scotty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but there was that. Uh, did watch a lot of football, and I dominated. I have a decent fantasy football team now. 
Yeah, because somebody was an idiot. Somebody dropped David Montgomery. What the fuck is wrong with people? After he became the workhorse. Yes. So I am uh, I am now officially a competitive team for our league again. I'm not saying I'm going to win, but it's a possibility. That's such horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that. Uh, but, but on a serious note, uh, it's kind of a shitty week because one of my uh, childhood heroes ended up passing away. And I'm seeing just all of this uh, shit on TikTok. Dude, about Jeffrey it. Dahmer died in the 90s. Mm-hmm. No, no. He got killed. He was stabbed prison. to death. Yeah. No. no. It was a weight bar. I no. Think, I believe, is what oh, it was. is that what it was? Yeah. The Green I don't Ranger. know. Let's ask Scotty. You loved him. No. How'd he die? I, uh, yeah, he did. I think he got his, the shit kicked out of him with like a bar of some kind. In, yeah, in I, just, I can't yeah. believe you just now finding this out. No, uh, sorry, whole, sorry to hear, Scott. Did yeah. you not watch that on Netflix? No, I didn't. Jeez. Jason David Frank, he's the Green Ranger. He passed away, and that, I didn't think it like something like that would hit as hard as it did. But God damn, it it hurts. I fucking loved that guy, and he went to Comic Cons. He signed for a whole bunch of people, took pictures with a whole bunch of people, and he was still doing it. I only know two Rangers, and that's Nolan Ryan and Chuck Norris. Okay, mm-hmm. fair enough. What's the other? He, oh, he goes by Walker. Yeah, Walker. Yeah, but, right. Uh, uh, but yeah, so uh, rest in peace. That was uh, that was my week. You know, that'd be a funny if you were doing a bit. What? What? <laughs> this sad over the fucking Power Ranger dying. <laughs> but you seem to be genuinely sad. I am. I'm genuinely sad. I'm over down, what man. was yeah. basically a live action cartoon. <laughs> you should have seen how upset he was when Dahmer went. Oh, yeah. Fuck. No. You want to talk about hero worship? <laughs> how about you, Jeremy? How was your week? Well, don't we want to do Derek? Where Derek did. did it was that uneventful. That's how uneventful it was. Yeah. Where was I at for all this? <laughs> I was no- playing Crash Bandicoot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really all you had was Crash Bandicoot? That's yeah, it, man. That's I it. watched that Pepsi thing. Wow. Where's my jet on Netflix? That oh, like, yeah, yeah. I, I remember when they did that. I, remember, I actually do, too. I remember and, that. And thinking, they can't really do this, can they? This has <laughs> got to be a joke. Yeah, um, I, I think every everybody but that kid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh well, well, I don't remember what they had to do to get it, but it was something seven nearly million, impossible. Seven million Pepsi points. Jesus Christ! And you get a half point per can, or uh, they found out that like originally he'd had this this whole thing worked up. They were going to rent warehouses and store them because they figured he called the Pentagon and found out it was like thirty four million dollars to purchase a Harrier jet. Mm-hmm. Seven million Pepsi points was going to be like. Seven million dollars, and he's like, "Okay." So he kind of found a backer and like some temp help, and was going to do all this shit. Jesus. And then uh, they were like, "There's no way." Like, there's just they figured out how many cans it would take, and they're like, "There's no fucking way." And then he said that he was in a store and went through a catalog, the Pepsi stuff catalog. Mm-hmm. I was like, "You can also buy Pepsi points for X amount for ten points, which equated to like seven seven hundred thousand dollars, or no, was it seven hundred seventy? Seven, it was one of the two uh, for the seven million that he needed left for that Harrier jet. Wow! Huh. So wow. they sent him a fucking check <laughs> and wrote Harrier jet on the catalog and drew a box and then checked it and then sent him the check. <laughs> and uh, yeah, huh. wow, wow, yeah. Um, here's what's really weird about uh, FAA regulations: uh, it's not illegal. For a civilian to own a fighter jet. No, they You just asked. can't arm it. Yes. Uh, and you need FAA clearance. But, yeah, a lot of uh, former pilots actually buy old, you know, oh, uh, yeah. fighter jets that they used to fly that have, been de- that have been decommissioned. They're a bitch to own. you got to fly them all the time yeah, or else they go say, bad. I was going to say, or they but, rot. Yeah, but, uh, but it can actually be done. So, uh, I don't know. What do we got with all that Manscaped money, guys? You want <laughs> I don't know. You're going to buy like an F4 Phantom? Uh, no. No, we just bought this P.O. Box, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Um, Fuck, I forgot. Yeah. Uh, it was one or the other, and uh, we, chose yeah. F- <laughs> we chose P.O. Box. Uh, but no, I did finish uh, my uh, ancient uh, apocalypse. I finished that. It was fucking great. It was awesome. Loved it. You would love it, too, Jeremy. You should watch it. I, I can't imagine that I would. <laughs> Fair enough. I cannot imagine that I would. I'm guessing I would be sitting there the whole time going, what the fuck? <laughs> you <laughs> nailed bullshit. it. You nailed it. Okay. Well, well, can I go into my fucking week now? Sure. Go ahead. What now that I'm done trying to pawn it off onto Derek. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I basically worked all weekend. Uh, that was a lot of a lot of fun. Any poops? Um, <clears throat> nope. No poops. Well, I mean, from me while I was getting paid, but in <laughs> on the, the toilet I, or in the I hallway, I deposited them in the proper location. <laughs> 
in the aircraft itself. <laughs> on his boss's desk. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is what I think of working Saturdays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Inside of my personal Harrier jet. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, like I talked about last week, uh, my aunt died. I realized she was no Power Ranger. Oh, man. But yeah. uh, my aunt did die, and it sucks, but we all knew it was coming. Uh, here's what really sucks about it. Uh, you know how I've told you I have a lot of medical people in my family? Mm -hmm. She was one of them. She was a nurse practitioner, a physician's assistant. And uh, she spent her whole life taking care of everybody else and neglected her own health oh, that and sucks. didn't take proper precautions when maybe she could have done something about it until it was it was stage four when she was diagnosed uh, and so yeah that was kind of fucked up uh so if you have problems folks get it checked out <laughs> yeah it, it could happen to anybody um let's see uh artemis launched i got uh, to watch that oh yeah yeah the, uh, is that the name of the dump you took at work that's, on your that's right desk? <laughs> that's right here that's comes artemis <laughs> <laughs> It's oh, weird that I yell that out all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and being on a weekend that I was working, it really, uh, <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot of people in the bathroom, so I had to take a bullhorn in with me and announce it. <laughs> this one's been brewing a while. I named mm -hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, the uh, the big-ass uh, NASA rocket. Largest rocket ever. Lar largest and loudest. Really? Yeah. 8.3 million pounds of thrust. Why which... didn't they just let Eli Musk do it? He's apparently more efficient. That's what's going to happen, by the way. The the next one, the first one with people on it, is not scheduled until like 2024. Oh. And SpaceX is going to pass them up because he's building this big-ass starship, they mm. call it. Yeah. Um, which, by the way, NASA has contracted SpaceX to use that as the lunar lander because it can land yeah. on its top. Uh, except that rocket is more than capable of launching from Earth and going right to the moon <laughs> with bypassing their stupid space station up there that they're wanting to put in orbit around the moon. They don't have to dock with that, get into another vehicle, and, and then go down to the moon. They can just go Earth to moon and do everything that they want in what is basically a flying Winnebago. It's enormous. Um, That's yeah, fucking awesome. Yeah, rather than having to sit in something the size of a phone booth. So, uh, yeah. Suck. Yeah, basically, this whole program has been for nothing because Musk is going to pass them up. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I watched a couple of things. Oh, yay. I watched The Samaritan. Okay, haven't seen it. On Amazon Prime. Mm -mm. Sylvester Stallone. Ooh, okay, now I have seen it. Or yeah. the preview of it, yeah. Yeah, it's it's <clears throat> pretty good. It's really? Not, it's not great. I thought it was a series. Oh. But it's a movie, mm. um, which is fine because... I was ready for it to be over after an hour and a half. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, I, I, I wouldn't recommend nor unrecommend it. Okay. Uh, so it's just blah. Just, yeah. Mm. It starts off kind of cool, but it gets really silly at the end. Okay. Uh, and then, um, yeah, the bad guy in it is the guy who played uh, the bad Greyjoy in uh, oh. Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. God, he was a fucker. Yeah, and he's basically that same character in this. God. Andy so. Bukake in that? No, I wish. No. no, I wish that really would spice things up. <laughs> I can't hardly watch a movie now if there's not jizz on the face. <laughs> I figured that was why she was a good Samaritan, right? It's because she took all the bouquet. <laughs> well, it's a he. Oh, it's oh. Sylvester Stallone is oh. the Samaritan. Maybe. Well, he, I mean, that's supposed to be good for your skin. He's getting yeah. up there. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> JP loves and, it and looks good yeah. for a man of his age. <laughs> How old is Sylvester Stallone? Seventy, seventy something. Yeah, I think he's two hundred. I don't think he can't. Is that true? I, I think so. I bet he is. <laughs> Derek said it. Okay. And so we put so. this on the yeah. internet, so That's that has, has to be true. It has to be yeah, true, 100%. Even if it wasn't before, it is now. Did you watch anything else? I watched Oak Island. Yes. Week one. I uh, have started it. It's two hours long. Mm -hmm. What? The, well, they the needed show? an hour and a half for recap. Right. Uh, you could tell they're giving up. Fuck this show. They're, Fuck this fucking show. They're like, we got a contract for one more year. We don't really want to be doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I told you I was right by there this summer, right? Yeah. 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 We saw the pictures. It, it's, it was basically two hours of, here's what we're going to do, is basically the, the whole episode was. Yeah. And it was just so fucking drawing out. But I'm, I agree with Jeremy. I think they're just going to quit. Here, here's what we did, <laughs> and here's what we're going to do. And just like with every year, they give you just a little bit of something to get excited about. Yep. That's going to pan out to be nothing. Right. And so, fuck this show. 
Here's what gets me about it. <laughs> Do you want to watch they, it every single week? They keep pulling up from 100 feet under the ground wood, wood. timbers. <laughs> Somebody was down there doing something. And apparently that something was nothing. Because <laughs> all they find is wood. It's like, hey, guys, uh, do we get, get the wood down underground yet? <laughs> apparently that's what's buried down. What if that is the treasure? That's it. Wood was so rare Just back wood. then yeah. that they brought a big load of it out, and then they had to bury it. And it they, turns out they've been digging it up this whole time. And they freak out when it comes up jointed. Yeah, they just lose their <laughs> shit. I like to think that when they're not recording, mm -hmm. that people sneak onto the island with a shovel and go down in those holes and dig a little bit deeper and yeah. throw some wood down there. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> they're like, we got to get some more. Let's see how long many more seasons of this shit we can get. Yep. <laughs> jump, jump. Yeah. Throw some more wood in that hole. That's right. I just wonder how much money they spent on carbon dating. <laughs> a lot. Because that can't be cheap. I no. mean, I've, I've never had to carbon date anything. But. They got their own fucking machines at like on the island to be able to like do some kind of dating. Uh, not carbon dating. They no, can, they like can do like uh, radioactive or some bullshit. Yeah. Magnetic something shit. And yeah. like, uh, <laughs> what do they call it? Uh, I don't electron know. Electron microscopes. Okay. And, yeah. God damn it. If I had my head about me, I would uh, be able to tell you. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. Is there anything else? Was that your week? That's a hell of a lot better than your guys. <clears throat> fucking week. I didn't have a video game. Lose all its shit on me. <laughs> yeah, damn right. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's uh, let's move on to a little bit of the show, I guess. But before we do that, we gotta give a shout out. You know, we got a sponsor and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, manscaped.com. Uh, I am uh, freshly groomed, boys. I used my lawnmower uh, 3.0, but uh, they have the lawnmower 4.0. You gotta uh, get with the times, Scotty. I know, I do. I know, I do. I, I did it in the dark. Use that. Uh, use that light. That People are talking on the internet. They're like, his balls are outdated. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> they say. Yeah, his, I bet there's stubble on them already. Uh -huh, his true. balls are so 2018. Mm -hmm. That's yep. what they say about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but mostly it's us saying it, but yeah, yeah, they're saying it. That, it's on the internet. That is their flagship product, the Lawnmower 4.0. It now has an adjustable LED light, so if I, I could have adjusted the light in the darkness uh, earlier today. Mm -hmm. um, but they also have other products that you need to go and check out. Um, obviously, the lawnmowers to help shave your balls and your butthole. Uh, that's for sure. That's, that's definitely true. You want to shave that butthole. Uh, but they also have other products like the Weed Whacker. So that's to help you get your nose hair and your ear hair. Very helpful tool. You can also shave down inside your pee hole. Uh, if you want to. That's, mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a little bit big. But, but I mean, you could try. Give it a shot. Your pee hole is? Your pee yeah. What have you been doing to your pee holes? No, the Weed Whacker are thing. You've you been putting gauges in it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounding. You know? Scotty's sure. Dick. Looks like an African with a lip disc in <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, God. Uh, but no, they have other You're products. You're supposed to put the thing around the neck, <laughs> not the one on the lip. The one on the neck makes it longer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Yes, uh, Scotty. Jeez. They have other products like the ball deodorant, which is supposed to help you keep your nuts nice and uh, smelling good. Not supposed to. It does. It does. And other things like ball toner and all My balls are so of, toned. They are. Yeah, they've been lifting. <laughs> they sure have. They're, they're, they're flexing. Uh, but your check balls it. are ripped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ripped balls, huh? My balls have abs. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> but check out all of their great products at manscaped.com. 12 pack. Yeah. I got I got Scotty Steiner balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you can use the promo code sidelines, get 20% off of your order, including free shipping. So that helps you uh, helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know we are doing these commercials word for fucking word. Mm -hmm. Now we get to move on to the sports. Scotty, do your balls even lift, bro? A little bit. No, I don't think they do. They do. I lift my balls a lot more than they lift themselves, but that's just, yeah. you know, me. Uh, first things first, uh, we had, uh, like uh, Derek said earlier, Illinois is in the top 25 again they, this year. Yeah. Uh, well, for basketball. Basketball. Yeah. Mm. Football, they fell out. They yeah. had damn near beat Michigan. I saw that. It was close. God damn it. But uh, Didn't basketball, they lose yeah. to Purdue? Uh, Two weeks did. ago? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, lost to Michigan on the last second field goal. Um, yeah, we are in the top twenty-five. We were preseason. I think we were nineteenth. Yeah, I think. But you get so, you ended up getting a big win over the weekend, though. Got UCLA. Yeah, and beat them. Came came back to beat UCLA. Won by I think eight. Sounds about right. A uh, lot of youth on that team. Good. A lot of guys that haven't really played together. A lot of freshmen and sophomores. The guys that we do have returning haven't. You know, we have Coleman Hawkins who didn't play a lot. Melendez didn't play a lot of minutes. So mm. now these guys are coming in and starting. 
They, I think if they jail together, I mean, they can be fucking dangerous. Cool. And they got my favorite new name for the, we got, we lose Cockburn. Oh, darn. Know, Kofi mm. Coburn, which is a great, great fucking last name. <laughs> mm-hmm. But the new guy we got's even better. We got Danger, <laughs> which is sweet. <laughs> I was laughing because I was watching that game and they it's said, It's not you know, Anthony Weiner, is it? No. No. Wasn't that his, his code name, like Carlos Danger? No, this is <laughs> Danger. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh. different. Don't know. So right. Anthony yeah. Weiner doesn't play for no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I thought he did. My mistake. But I was listening to the announcers talk about Danger the other day, and they're like, "Well, they he they are just loving him in Illinois." And you know, the other announcer goes, "Of course they do. He's good." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, that is what's is that? Greg Popovich fucking next to you? This is fantastic." <laughs> Yeah, they tend to not care so much for the guys who ride the bench. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The walk-ons, you know. Yeah. I mean, they might get a, a big – if they get in the game, that means that your team is up by a million fucking points. Right. And so, yeah, then they, they certainly love them if they do anything. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, – generally they tend to love their star standout players. Yeah. Yeah. The guys sense. who keep you winning. Right. Uh, but moving on to some college football, uh, Jeremy Joseph, how'd your uh, Wildcats do? They won uh, against uh, uh, West Virginia. For West Virginia. Uh, speaking of uh, John Denver, um, mm-hmm. that's Country Roads. Country Roads take me home. That's yeah, right. right. John Denver was full of shit. He sure was. <laughs> Rocky Mountain ain't that high. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I love that fucking movie. <laughs> It's a shagging wagon. Uh, <laughs> their their offense played outstanding. I believe the score was uh, what was it? It was like twenty eight to seventeen at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, it was a ridiculous score. I mean, it was just so many fucking touchdowns nice. back and forth. A uh, couple of pick <laughs> sixes, and I mean, it was. Uh, I mean, K State wound up winning. I want to say by either seventeen or twenty one, or nice by some numbers. For certain, I know they won by some numbers, but their defense sure. kind of gave me some some shit to uh, to be concerned about. Mm-hmm. What really bothers me is that we have KU this weekend. I hope you beat the fucking shit out of them. As do I. If they win, they are assured a spot in the Big Twelve championship game. Oh, fucking KU <laughs> would just love to ruin my Thanksgiving <laughs> and shit in my punch bowl on your desk. They're gonna fucking leave an Artemis in your punch bowl. <laughs> right. They are. I'm gonna. They're gonna shit in my fucking walkway, <laughs> and I'm gonna have to put up caution tape all around it, and I'm gonna have to hire a janitorial <laughs> service to come clean it up. Yep. Make a suspect board. Oh, uh, yep. that's good shit. All right, uh, but moving on. Okay, he's got their cargo shorts on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Oklahoma ended up uh, winning Bedlam. I don't know if you saw that. Beat, Did they really? Beat the fuck After getting shit. beat by West Virginia? Yeah, they the beat the before? shit out of Oklahoma State. So, yeah, that yeah, was, that's that coming was, back. That yeah, was interesting. Tennessee get trounced. Yeah, they did. Got fucking trounced. Yeah, that sucks. They I gave was, up 60 points. I was really rooting for them. And then what was the other big one? TCU barely pulled one out against yeah, Baylor. Ba- Baylor. Yeah, Baylor. Fuck. Yeah. Yep. That's last second, fun. one point. Yeah, last there, second. Yeah. I was watching a TikTok, and it was funny. Some chick had made a video, and she's like, whenever you think you're getting ready to storm the field because Baylor just won, only you end up filming a last second losing field goal. <laughs> oh, that was fucking fantastic. Good shit. And I'm, I have a feeling that if K-State plays them in the Big 12 championship game and they're still undefeated, I'm wondering if the refs will even allow K-State to win. Because that's their Big 12's only chance to get into yeah. the college playoffs. Sure. Okay. Well, moving on to the fun parts of the uh, the week, we've got uh, some NFL stuff. National Football League. National Football League. All right. Yeah. Foosball. Oh, National foosball. League. Thunder Snow was pretty fucking crazy. I wanted them to play in Buffalo. We've had Thunder Snow here before. Oh, I know. Okay. But like six fucking feet of snow. Uh-huh. Can you imagine Devin Singletary trying to navigate through that shit? I, I want him to play too because I bet the under. <laughs> Once I saw the yeah. fucking forecast, I'm like, under. Yep. No and then they shit. moved it. They moved it to Detroit. God dang it. I saw tons and tons of videos of people like like recording the snow. <laughs> it's a lot of snow. Devin Singletary can't maneuver his way through an arm tackle. <laughs> <laughs> Let alone five feet of fucking snow. They said the snow was as was as tall as Josh Allen, who was like Jesus. six foot five or something like that. They That's said the snow incredible. got that high at in that stadium. 
That'd have wow. been so much fun. Yeah. I can't see why they wouldn't have just maintained it, get all the snow out. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal, I think. But anyways, they ended up playing in he, Detroit. Here's here's what I absolutely loved yesterday because I don't have any of the NFL packages, the extra games. Uh, so I get home from work ready to just relax and watch some football. And the only fucking game that was on was Jets Patriots. <laughs> that was the only <laughs> noon game, a game that stayed tied three to three until the last 30 seconds of the fucking game. <laughs> that's the game I got to enjoy at noon guys. Yeah, actually that's what I was getting ready to move on to. Um, mm-hmm. How about that Jets defense? Yeah. How, how about, about it? that Jets defense? How about man? that Patriots defense? They fucking sacked Je- Zach Wilson. I don't know, a hundred fucking times? Lots. Uh, I'm going to say minimum of a hundred. Um, yeah. That's half what Stallone's age. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they said one for every two years Stallone's been around. <laughs> we're going to nail his ass. They had more punts than first downs. Oh, The wow. Jets did. They had, uh, what, what was the other one that they had more than first downs? Turnovers than first downs. I saw they Jesus. were averaging two and a half inches per play the entire second half. Yeah, it was, it was fucking stupid. They had... Wow. They went well into the fourth quarter, I believe, before they got their first first down of the second half. Jesus. Did you and see And they had the ball several times. Did you see the post game uh, press conference? Uh, yes, oh, I did. Zach Wilson. Oh, Zach Wilson. Dude, you got to be a fucking leader and oh, own he that down. shit. He's gone. They're I mean, saying they, they, he's going to sit. They won't con- they won't commit uh the head coach said he's not committing to Wilson this for this week. Mhm. Zach Wilson says he did not let his defensive teammates down after going 9 for 22 and 77 yards. That's bad. That's real bad. And What's the, the quarterback rating on that? I don't even know. I'd I, like to see that. I, I don't like know. I think awful. 38. There, there is the, the actual equation to figure up quarterback rating isn't written in human numbers. <laughs> uh, nobody actually knows how to figure it. They just tell you what it is. Yep. Alien numbers. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, Probably those ones from the fucking yeah. ancient. Ancient uh, uh, apocalypse. Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, next one, my Detroit Lions win their third consecutive game in a row against the New York Giants in New York. Well, not really in New York. They're in New, New Jersey, but that's bullshit. Didn't just win. Kick the they shit out of them. They kicked the shit out of them. Defensively, they look decent. I'm like, Aiden Hutchinson is the only NFL player right now that has three takeaways and three sacks or more. He's the only NFL player. Mm-hmm. That's fucking. That was insane. a good draft pick. It was a very good draft pick, um, but yeah, we've moved up to the projected number three overall pick now. Look at that! Yeah, and, and I think we're going to get two because we're tied with Carolina. Oh yeah, that's and true. I think they're better. Do they those. have a head to head? No, no. But if it comes down to division, they've got to eventually. I mean, I don't see us. We, we might beat Green Bay. That's it. Do you realize that because of this win, the Detroit Lions are now second in this division? Mm-hmm. That's fucking crazy. That division is that second. bad. That's yeah. how bad that division is. Yeah. <laughs> With four wins, they are second in the division. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. And also in that division over the weekend, um, the Dallas Cowboys end up blowing out the Minnesota Vikings. Trounced them. 40-3. to three. Kirk Cousins was sacked seven times. That's, uh, that's a pretty miserable day. Mm-hmm. If you ask me. That's two less times than 50 Cent got shot. That's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For those of you keeping score keeping at home. Keeping score. Uh, but no. Uh, here's the question I was going to ask about this particular game. Are the Dallas Cowboys really that good, or did Minnesota just have a bad game? Both. Both, yeah. They're yeah. D- Dallas I, is good. They've Dallas got a is top defense. defense in the league. Yes. That's, and all they really need to do is, I mean, is score maybe 24 points, and they should be fine. I don't even know if it's that much. Dude. Prescott looked to be on his game big time yesterday. He was, he. was You could tell he could feel the pass rush. He was evading pass rushers, and he was very nimble and throwing good, accurate passes, too. Tony Pollard. Give him what, the ball. about him? Sit Zeke down. Trade Zeke in the offseason. I traded Pollard. You did? I yes. saw Zeke wow. score a half-yard touchdown. Come on now. I'm I just saying. And he Adams. had to dive for it. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good trade. Um, so, yeah. I, so, I, I'm going to go ahead and say that the Dallas Cowboys are for real. Minnesota also, they came into this game with the entire wrong game plan. I agree. And their defense sucks. Mm-hmm. But yeah, their offense should've. couldn't keep them off the field. They really should have. Tried to win. <clears throat> yeah, that's the, yeah, yeah. That that's what was so odd about it is that they came in it's, saying, "What's what's your game plan for this one, Coach?" And he was like, "I, I don't think we're going to try real hard on this one. We've been uh, we've been having the boys take a rest. 
I've been telling him, you know, it's guys, it, we're almost to the end of the season now. Yeah. You can just uh, take a load off. We got this one in the bag. Have you seen the rest of our division? <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that on the plane ride home, they just made Kirk Cousins give away all the gold chains they put on his <laughs> neck the week before. No, they Come just, on, Kirk, give it back. They just got one that has a big L on it. <clears throat> Uh, but last, uh, at least for my list, um, I have an honest question to ask you guys, oh, and Jesus. that is: I'm married, Scotty. No. I appreciate it. That's very Do graceful, you, but I you know, I don't swing that way. But if I did, still no. In all honesty, don't give a shit about the Green Power Ranger. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, no, honestly. Do you think they want your Dakota ring? Right, <laughs> that's fine. Honestly, do you think that Russell Wilson may actually have CTE? No. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. I think he does. I legitimately think that Russell Wilson has CTE. I think he has a case of super inflated ego. That, but I think, I don't know, dude. <clears throat> there is something different with this this dude. I mean, I know the Broncos are awful. Yes, they lost to the Raiders, who are also kind of in a weird situation, a very t- a talented team that just can't put it together. And I got to say, I was uh, I was appalled watching this game and uh i really do i think he does he's got some kind of mental health deal with him to make him suck this bad so that's what i think Uh, you know who does have cte and i found this kind of sad that i just learned about this weekend the red power ranger right yep (laughs) (laughs) he took a lot of kicks to the head from putties it was You can't get in that many fucking fights and expect to be okay. God, Especially against otherworldly beings. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's rule number one of, of Power Ranger technology. Why would you ever get out of that big robot dinosaur? I don't know. Honestly, that thing is ama- way stronger than you are. Get in that and just step on people. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, it's like on Knight Rider. Why the fuck did he ever get out of the car? <laughs> It's bulletproof. It can do anything. <laughs> Why? Get yeah. out of that car. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what was I saying now? Um, does no. Have CTE. Uh, Jim McMahon. What about? Oh. Has been diagnosed. Oh, he's in bad shape. With uh, early onset. Yeah, he's having some real bad memory issues and uh, can't walk straight and all that. The punky QB is going down. Now, they say early onset. He's 62 years old. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know just how early that is. I've I've heard that for a while, like it's it's a matter of minutes that he yeah. recalls. That's how short term his memory is. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like minutes. I didn't realize he played fifteen years. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. I I remember him having those couple of great years with the Bears, and then he got hurt on a bullshit play, and then he spent a couple of years with the Jets, and then I never heard from him again. Huh. That but I guess crazy. he was probably backing up somewhere. But yeah, I guess that that play that really injured him was that dude should have been arrested. Have you oh, ever really? seen that? No. Yeah, a guy came into – he wasn't uh, – Jim McMahon wasn't very well liked. But uh, this dude, I believe from the Eagles, came in. He had Jim McMahon's jersey number written all over his wristbands and shit, and he basically had made it very well known to his team that he was taking McMahon out. Hmm. And on a pass that w- had well left his hand, like – Two seconds. He just picked him up and spiked him into the fucking ground. Yikes! And put him out for the rest of the season. That's no. It fun. was a bullshit play. Uh, but as we are recording, but this, he got 15 yards. So nice, good. Speaking of injuries uh-huh. uh, and Bears quarterbacks, old Fields went down. Yeah, I saw that. God, and then he, his and, shoulder was hurt. But they haven't disclosed what's wrong with him. They yet. said he's day to day. Um, and I watched or read something from what the Chargers, a former like team physician of the Chargers, mm-hmm. he was a physician with them for 17 years said that he thinks it's a separated shoulder, that you can actually put a numbing thing in there to where he could still play and you wouldn't have any pain. Now, after the game, it's you're probably going to have some pain. Oh, yeah. Why do that? I don't know. You've you've won three games. You're you're not you don't want to win at this point. Yeah, you want the draft picks. Yeah. Dude. So let the guy sit and get healthy. That guy got. I watched that game. He got fucking killed. However, I do like. I read just a little bit ago that Jaquan Brisker, who is our rookie that we drafted in the second round, came out and said that they need to start fucking throwing flags because Fields gets hit late and out of bounds a lot. And he was like, "Let it be Tom Brady or Jared Goff." 
And there'll be hella flags because they threw a flag on Mariota for tripping over himself. <laughs> All I'm saying is, is they need to be throwing flags for this bullshit. That's what Brisker said. Mm, and good for him. Proud Call of him out. For that. With that separated shoulder, though, he can now escape uh, straight jackets. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, but when he's hurt, like there's that, an upside to everything. Silver lining, guys. That's yep. all I'm saying. That's right. When he's hurt like that, in the first two plays they do with that separated shoulder on the last drive, QB designed a QB run twice in a row. Yeah. Stupid. That's dumb. Uh, but uh, as we are recording this episode, we are actually watching um, the uh, Monday night game that is in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a big deal, isn't it? That's why they need to build that wall. Yeah. They don't. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, we got to keep football in. That's what it's for. They don't even like touchdowns there. No, they no. don't. They like field goal. <laughs> Did you guys notice on each goal line they put a net all the way across? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it looks like there's quite a few people there. I mean, it doesn't look like it's sold out or anything, but, you know, good turnout. Definitely not like a, like the German game, but, uh, yeah. And FIFA started this, this week. I wonder what their goal is. Are they wanting to just have, like, are they is eventually, I'm wondering if the NFL wants to have a team and a couple teams in Europe, yes, Mexico, they do. Canada? Yes, They've already said it. They want to have, they want to have. How do you play away games like that? <laughs> you can't. It's stupid. And, I mean, it's a nice oddity once or twice a year. Uh-huh. But it wouldn't last. They wouldn't get support the full year round. And they don't even understand the game. They're not smart enough over in Europe. <laughs> However, did you notice this game, how nice the grass looks? Yeah. It looks really good. They take very good, very good care, care of it. it. They got a lot of good landscapers mm-hmm. down there. The Mexico game. Did you see the McCole Hardman thing? No. I guess he was watching the Chargers game, and he was on Twitter, and he's like, y'all, I'm about to throw my remote control at the TV. <laughs> and then he tweets, just threw my remote control at the TV. Uh and then Kelsey had scored that go-ahead touchdown, and he's like, "What happened? <laughs> did we win? Or, or did he? What happened?" And then he go, tweets again, "Did we win? Seriously?" And then he shows a picture of his TV, and it's <laughs> broke to shit. Like he legit <laughs> threw his fucking remote control. That's at the fucking TV. dope. That's awesome. He's still on his rookie contract. He can't afford another. <laughs> right. Um, but have yeah. you heard about his? In- he's out for four weeks with an abdominal illness. Oh, what the fuck is that? Ebola, tapeworm. Yeah. Probably you're you're probably right. He's out four weeks with a tapeworm. Tapeworm, yeah. Got to get is. back in shape. Got to drop. Sure, he's got to lose pounds. some weight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to get down to jockey. Yeah, mm-hmm. jockey but, weight. Uh, but that's my news. But Derek's got some other news, right, Derek? Oh yeah. What do you got? Um, <clears throat> first thing is Michael Jordan's uh, son. Yeah. Is dating Scotty Pippen's I think ex-wife now. Perfect. Larsa Pippen. Nice. Uh, she is you still 40. calling Uncle Scott. <laughs> <laughs> She is 47. I think he's like 34. Wow. And she is still banging. Well, good for oh, him. Oh, my fucking God. Well, good for him. I mean, look at Scotty. Look at Pippin. He's uglier than shit. Yeah, but so. man, when you got that fucking money. <laughs> that is, which, which he never really got. I was going to say, just wait until, just imagine, he probably still have her if he would have just uh, bet yep. on himself. That's right. Uh, uh, yeah, it's bad. That's so. bad. There was that. There was uh, Antonio Brown. Yeah, is has been uh, Snapchatting uh, a photo shopped photo of Tom Brady's ex wife. Perfect. Uh, topless. Oh yeah. So thanks for that, Antonio. Yeah, thanks. I, I kind of figured what the boobs were going to look like, but I still. What yeah. What is the deal with that? I mean, Tom Brady is the only fucker that supported him at all. I know. I don't get it. I don't either. He's an idiot. He He's, was never mad at Brady, I didn't think. He's a walking case of CTE. I have I have an actual question. Okay. Do you think he has CTE? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I know we joke about it all the time, but that dude is going to blow his fucking brains out one Jim of Jim McMahon days. thinks there's something wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're going to change that from CTE to ABB. Yeah, that's Antonio right. Antonio Brown brain. That's right. That's what they're going to start calling it. <laughs> that's right. Um, and then the last little bit of news I, I had, I was uh, flipping through Facebook and I saw that uh, there was a headline on an article that uh, a kid made his middle school basketball team and he had no legs. <laughs> and it wasn't even like a picture of him in a wheelchair. It looked like he had like melted through the floor, <laughs> the lower half. And so like no legs and he made his team. And the only thing I could think of at that exact point in time Boy, how shitty would you feel if you didn't make that team? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you got beat out. Your spot got took by a guy with no legs. Like, yeah. hey, look, I know you're not too bad at the three ball, but 
fucking even Stubbs McGee can get back on defense faster than you can. So. Oh, yeah. What if they put him out there for the jump ball? <laughs> the no, the, and this and there's no no uh, like prosthetic legs or anything like that. It's it's legitimately he's maybe yes. three feet tall. Check this shit out, Jerry. It's fucking crazy. And he actually does a pretty decent job. He he stole um, a pass from somebody. Shocking. Well, absolutely. He's fucking eye height. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he can always steal bounce passes. Uh, exactly. That's what he ends up doing. He ends up taking the ball away from somebody. So, I mean, it looks like he's got some pretty decent talent. But, uh, he plays for the Mustangs. He should, he's, How? he's actually a half centaur. All they got to do is get the bottom. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay, I'm not kidding. That motherfucker <laughs> looks 25. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. <laughs> oh, shit. I think you, he might get on the track team, too. Might? Yeah. Are you sure that ain't a war veteran that didn't step on a mine? <laughs> 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 I mean, it's still impressive, but that don't look like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine that guy fucking, like, eye level with this guy's fucking ball. <laughs> <laughs> and just fucking like with his arms out, like he's guarded. He looked it's pretty just, decent. He looked like he did a pretty good job. Someone's so. pumping sound in through yeah. the speakers, the shoes squeaking. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fuck. That's bad. Uh, Bruce Weber's already recruiting him. <laughs> <laughs> yep, sure is. You got no legs, I got no team. <laughs> All right. Anything else that you guys got? No. I got nothing. I got nothing either. I want to know where that guy's key's at. Uh, yeah. Where is his keys? Man, I, I don't know because you know he's old enough to drive. That's for sure. Oh shit! All right, well now we get to move on to the fun parts of the episode. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some real shit or horse shit. Uh, pretty much self-explanatory. If you can't figure it out, um, you're an idiot. Uh, so first one: real shit or horse shit. When medication says do not take while operating heavy machinery, I immediately think of a crane or a forklift instead of what it's intended for. A vehicle. Horse shit. Really? Yeah, I think choo-choo or tank. <laughs> oh, really? Uh-huh. Choo-choo? Choo-choos. Choo-choo trains? Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, this is totally real shit. I think of, of a fucking forklift every yeah, single time I, somebody says this I shit. I don't believe a car is heavy machinery. They're made of plastic now. Right, exactly. So this is, uh, this is real shit for me. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, well, yeah, I certainly think of uh, construction equipment or forklift, just mostly because I work around forklift drivers True. who I'm pretty sure are on some shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, taking shit. Uh, they, got poops. A- they got ABB. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> there's okay. There's a couple of them. Okay. I'm, I'm not kidding you. They are artists. Yeah. The way that they can, because a forklift, if you've never driven a forklift, they're real rear wheel steering. And which is like totally the opposite of anything you'd think. And so they cut corners real tight and all this shit. And I've seen these guys like pick up big trailers, like pick up one end of a trailer and push it and like maneuver through real like tight corners and shit. And then I've seen other guys who take 15 minutes to back out (laughs) of just being parked somewhere (laughs) when there's nothing around. Derek can't parallel park. I can now. Oh, you can? Yes. Oh. Dealerships taught me that. Oh, wow. Well, neither can these guys, and they're in a vehicle made for parallel parking. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, shit. All right. Uh, Let's go to the next one. Real shit or horse shit, I still have to sing the alphabet song to determine alphabetical order. That's horse shit. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, I've got OCD. Yeah. So, like, anything I have, like, all my movies are arranged in alphabetical order. Yes. And I went through and did all that. No, I am fucking like borderline autism OCD to where yeah, that's that's complete horse. Shit. I am I am the exact same way as Derek. Yeah, this is this is horse shit. <clears throat> I uh, all of my DVDs are are alphabetical order, all of that stuff, and I do not have to sing the fucking song to remind me what order that is. Jeremy, uh, no, I don't have to sing the song anymore I've, either. Uh, I don't alphabetize anything. Uh, my wife does though, <laughs> and she we have a pretty good movie collection. And when she here, here's something that pisses me <laughs> off. <laughs> if something begins with uh, a, the word a, or she files that under the a's, and if it begins with the, she puts that under the t's. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no! No! no. English. <laughs> we alphabetize in English in this country. God damn it! I don't know what fucking backwoods. Slant-eyed shit you're doing over there. But this God. this ain't going to fly in my house. Wow. So I, I tip that 
cabinet over on a regular basis. <laughs> nice. Do it right, I say. That's right. Uh, all right, next one. Real shit or horse shit. When packing for a short trip, I pack enough underwear to shit myself twice for every day that I am gone. Horse shit. Really? Yes, and it has only failed me once. Really? <laughs> yeah. Recently. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the whole Brazilian steakhouse, you want to make sure, just, just get a whole three-pack and just bring them with you. Get a diaper. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you're going down and back, get a three-pack. Mm-hmm. Yep. But uh, no, I pack enough for however many days I'm there, and then that's it. I uh, I am. This is 100% real shit. I pack, if I'm going someplace for two days, I pack six pairs of underwear. For no other reason, it's not like I'm gonna well, shit my your pants. Nut, that's because your nut stinks, Scotty. That's so possible. Gotta I gotta, those. I gotta make sure I have good hygiene. Wrist. That's right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, that's this is real shit. I don't know why I do this, but I fucking do this because he likes to jack off backwards. Maybe <laughs> jack off backwards. <laughs> Explain how that's that, done. You reach around behind me, <laughs> and then underneath, so your balls just keep rubbing against your wrist. So your wrist basically goes through your ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> this answers a lot of questions, Scotty. This is why my wrists stink. First yeah. off, why you're so goddamn limber. Yeah, <laughs> I am. Two, why your wrists stink. And <laughs> three, why you can't even jerk off right. <laughs> Uh, you're like, not even a good jerk off yeah. right even the pictures he prints out are upside down <laughs> that makes a lot of sense too how about you jeremy um okay i will pack an extra pair of underwear okay. not one for every day that i'm there socks on the other hand mm-hmm. uh i'm if there's a puddle wherever i'm going i'll find it <laughs> <laughs> and my feet will get wet <laughs> And so, yeah, I uh, I will always take a few extra pairs of socks. Is there anything worse than wet feet, like wet socks? Yeah, having shoes? all your kids die in a car crash, Scotty. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, I don't know. I think that's close. Uh, yeah, I well, I mean, yeah, as long as you're not around the blood spatter, your feet stay dry. So that's <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, you're right. No, nothing's worse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Real shit or horse shit. I have to wear matching clothes even when I go to bed. Well, that's horse shit. Yeah? Yeah, I sleep naked. Oh, I, look, that's gross. Yeah. That's disgusting. By the way, I need a place to stay tonight. <laughs> no, no, you're good. So I'll, no, this is... Uh, I'll just bunk with, with the wife and then mm, you can sleep on the couch. Nope. Uh, this is real shit. I have to match every time. I can't just wear a fucking rando t-shirt if it's a, if, if it's, I mean, it has to match 100% of the time. I'm weird. Yeah. So, you're way weird. Yeah. This is real well, shit. But then again, you jack off backwards so. <laughs> and have stinky wrists. Uh-huh. How about you, Jeremy? Um, no, this is horse shit. Uh, I generally just sleep in my underwear. I do not. I like to be not just cool. I like to be cold. Okay. I like the room cold when I sleep. I don't like to be in pajamas. I don't like to be naked because, according to my wife, I ooze. Um, <laughs> what? Just from all of my nether regions, they just <laughs> there's just a funk that comes. Uh, you if I'm not freshly out of the shower, she will not touch my dick balls, but <laughs> any of it. Um, Do you sleep with a condom on? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> you never can be too careful. Well, trash bag, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, bragger. Yeah. Awful. That's so awful. Well, mostly just because I like to waste plastic. Oh, <laughs> got it. Uh, but no, I uh, I just sleep in my skivvy, so I don't give a shit about matching my underwear. Okay. I or matching my, my pajamas. I think you should match your underwear. Actually, I, I go with the old style ones with the flap in the butt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, a, and a cap with a ball on the end of it. <laughs> I go with the nightgown style. Yeah. You go fucking. It was the night before Christmas. Yeah, style. I say, you go yeah. Scrooge style. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. All right. Uh, last one. Real shit or horse shit? I can eat an entire bucket of ice cream in one sitting. Define bucket. The big one. Oh, horse shit. No. No fucking way. No. That, that's no. usually a gallon and a quart. Yeah. So that's. I don't think any human being alive can actually consume that much in one sitting joey chestnut could yeah could. i doubt it <laughs> that's that's they say people can't drink a gallon of milk you, you cannot and yeah. uh that's more than a gallon yeah of what is mostly milk what about, let's get joey on the horn what about pint how about a pint 
Oh yeah, I do. Uh, that. I could eat. A pint. I found some some low carb ice cream. Mm-hmm. Five five grams of carbs per pint. So wow. I routinely eat a pint okay. of ice cream. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, show me what that is. Yeah, Rebel. It's called. Oh, got salted caramel. <clears throat> they've got uh, they've got orange. They've, they've got all kinds of different uh, flavors. Does it taste they, like shit? No, it tastes like ice cream. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's what's amazing. There's mm-hmm. that other one that what is it? Top Gun? something. There's Gun. well, there's a couple. Top Gun. Just, Maverick. It just chips off. Most of those are Sucks. made with they're made with uh, coconut flakes, Ugh. flavored coconut flakes. It doesn't taste like coconut, but it has the texture of it, and it sucks. <laughs> this actually is made with real cream, but it's lactose free. Wow. Okay, that's spectacular. Yep. Uh, no, this is yep, this yep, is 100 yep. percent horseshit. I do not like ice cream, so fuck off. Yeah, Jerry. Let's force him to eat a big bucket of yeah. ice cream. No. Circus peanut ice cream. Mm-hmm. No. You're going to get a circus peanut blizzard, Scotty. No. It hurt my, hurt my teeth. And then it gives you a brain freeze. Nobody gives a fuck about your teeth. We'll knock your fucking teeth out. <laughs> yeah. I got Happily. no problem with that. Happily yeah. do it. Oh, no. I'll have a horse kick you in the face. Yeah. This now is... we're back to horse talk. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Is it real shit or horse shit for you? No, it's horse shit. Nobody can. Okay. Right. Nobody can. Fair enough. All right, well, that is Real Shit or Horse Shit. Uh, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. And if you have any suggestions for any of these, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our TikTok or our Instagram. Uh, we're going to do the first one. First one is overrated or underrated, the running of the bulls. Fucking way overrated. Really? You don't want to go do that? I never fucking understood what the joy <laughs> of running for your goddamn life was. <laughs> When you can just sit at home. Like, <laughs> why? I don't know. It's kind of an adrenaline rush. No. Are these not the Chicago Bulls? No. No. Oh, no. okay. No. The, the ones in Spain, then. That's yeah, it. Yeah, in Pamplona. Yeah. No, uh, thank you. Uh, this is way underrated, dude. Good. You should totally go do it. No. Get them teeth knocked out, eat some ice cream. No. I just think it's underrated because people are dumb enough to do this, but also people will video record some of these and there are people that have died quite a few yes of them. and so yeah this is underrated i, I fucking like it i saw a still frame photo of this once of a bull that gored a guy oh fuck up between the skin and the oh, bone on his shin yikes, and you no. could just see the fucking horn up there no and, oh, oh and no. he had the guy picked up by it oh and, god oh, that's ooh, awful he got underrated, what he huh? got what he yeah. fucking deserved <laughs> yeah. and uh yeah, it, in my opinion, it's underrated simply because this is the bull's only chance to extract some revenge because a lot of people don't realize what they're running to is to a coliseum where bullfighters are about to kill them. <laughs> yeah, there so, you go. So, um, yeah, which I fucking despise. That's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Uh, no pun intended. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're going to shit. Yeah. And uh, that's, a, that's a, a bad way to get a burger. Yeah. Really. All right. Stabbing it with swords. Yep. Next one. The bulls should get guns. They should. And hands. Right. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated. Starting a slow clap for no apparent reason. Huh? Starting a a slow clap for no apparent reason. I'm going to go overrated. Why? Because nobody's going to do it with you, so you just look like a dumbass. No. No. That's the best part. If you can convince, do it convincingly, (laughs) people will just think something happened. (laughs) Yes, 100%. It, it won't, actually. Uh, <laughs> this is the kind of thing that only happens in movies. Yeah, oh, like whenever like, they chant somebody's name, starting slowly and building up, oh, like yeah. in Rudy. Yeah. That doesn't really fucking happen. It did happen. In the student section. Okay. And most people didn't know what they were chanting. Probably. This is like the audible version of the wave. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, yeah. This yeah. is great. Now, to do it for <clears throat> no reason. Yeah. Now, I mean, I, I've seen people try to do it for stupid reasons okay but if there's absolutely no reason that could be funny <laughs> yeah this is it underrated. got overplayed with people trying to do it for no good reason it was in not another teen movie oh i didn't see it where you know all those teen <clears throat> movies they would have a slow clap for you know the dork at the end who emerges the hero uh-huh. and everybody just loves him and you always had the one guy who tried to start that at the wrong time <laughs> and it kind of got overplayed but yeah. uh yeah, this is underrated. No, I think we should bring it back. Okay, cool. Uh, I ne- thought the slow clap just was... Just not with me involved. Yeah, I just, you know... I don't want to be around. 
clapping. Just come on, more just people. Keep, keep on going. A slow clap sounds what happens when you fuck a dirty retard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yikes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sorry, special needs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, a dirty special <laughs> needs. <laughs> With the clap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's uh, what makes them dirty. Right. right, but I got the slow clap. Yeah. Start out with a slow mance with this girl. And yeah. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Ventriloquists. Again, overrated. Oh, come on now. <sighs> it's like a guitar comic. I just, it, just can't do it. They're yeah. one step and above mimes. God, <laughs> God damn, that's great. <laughs> that's one, that's it's what he said. Yeah. Yep, I'm out. <laughs> This is, oh God, this is going to be so bad. We're going to probably get some shit for this. But being around stand-up comedians a lot uh, over the last four years, I when I first started um, hanging out with you guys, before we started doing the show, I really liked a particular comedian named Jeff Dunham. Mm. And after hanging out with both of you and other comedians, I hate Jeff Dunham <laughs> because I hate ventriloquists. It's such a fucking like gimmick that... A lot of people like, and, and it basically has rubbed off. So, no, this is overrated. Jeremy? Here's what's weird, and this lets you know just how dumb society is, that people will get annoyed at a Jeff Dunham show with the puppet. <laughs> I still say Peanut's still in my top five comics of all time. Don't care for Jeff, <laughs> but Peanut is fucking hilarious. Yes, he is. But, yeah, it is... it is. It is cheap and cheap. Now, I, I will say this. Of all the ones who can do it, Jeff Dunham is probably the best I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. As far as close. being able to throw his voice and that, that talent and that skill. And the jokes aren't always horrible, but it's you know what the fuck is coming mm -hmm. every time. I can't figure Which one's the dummy? The dummy? I, I never oh. can figure out because they both think the other one is mm -hmm. yeah. every time. That's what makes Peanut great. Everything that Peanut does. Is well, hilarious. that and he's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. <clears throat> Next one. Overrated or underrated? Glory holes. You know, I'm going to go underrated here, Scotty, because I know that's kind of your hobby. And <laughs> granted, it does chap your lips. No. Oh, but no. Uh, I just, I got to look out for you. I'm going to go underrated. And uh, let, let me add, you do a fine job. <laughs> All the people at the Flying J have said really good things. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, God dang it. You are fantastic. They're right? overrated. Overrated. And I don't do this. Why? They bruise your throat? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no. I would never want to go someplace and stick my dick in a hole. Like like in, a, in the wall. Like, fuck that shit, dude. No way. You I don't had know. one in your old house. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes. I did? Yeah. Oh. In the bathroom. Oh. Your dog made it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I did. Yeah, and Forgot then you would that. randomly just disappear in the middle of the day <laughs> and then come back and need a drink. No. <laughs> no, this is overrated. Can I get some juice? <laughs> no. Overrated. Jeremy? Yeah, I mean, from what I understand, this is supposed to be like a stranger is on the other side. Mm -hmm. And now they have basically full control of your dick. <laughs> and they can do whatever... And like have a cigar cutter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Or in my case, like a bush clipper, <laughs> you know, because it ain't fitting in a cigar cutter. Let's face it, guys. Yep. Chinese used, finger trap. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife has one of those. They just call them finger traps. All, all of her finger traps are Chinese finger traps, <laughs> <Okay>. Scotty. <laughs> Much like how all of her fire drills are Chinese fire drills. That's, <laughs> all of her food is Chinese food. <laughs> The time the um, smoke alarm went off, was, he mm -hmm. ran to go get her, and she just running circles around the car <laughs> yep. in the garage. <laughs> Hurry, we got to find a red light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, you done? At least I've convinced her to stop, drop, and roll when she does it. That's um, good. But, okay, here's the thing. The one time that I was ever at a glory <clears throat> hole, I was, uh, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was early. <laughs> so I was the only one there and just had, I stood there for a half hour, my dick through a hole and it was so sad. <laughs> Nothing ever happened. So yeah, I'm going to go with their overrated. Okay. That's great. All right. Last. Cause you know, what's really good. What? Sticking your dick directly in somebody's mouth. <laughs> that's a lot of fun. It is I a lot can of go fun. upstairs if you guys want to hang out. <laughs> no, nothing. we're good. Uh, but no, last one. Overrated or underrated? Do it after you knock his teeth out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to feel better. 
<laughs> okay, last one. <laughs> Overrated or underrated? A Whoopi Goldberg blow up doll. Underrated. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All blow up dolls are underrated. <laughs> God, can it host a podcast? Maybe. I think we should get it. Vicky might be able to, I think. Uh, yeah. Vicky uh, needs a friend. She She's does. She's lonely. Yep. We need to get ourselves a Whoopi Goldberg blow-up doll because I think it would be fucking hilarious. But not just any Whoopi. We need a sister act. Sister Whoopi act? Goldberg Fuck yes. <laughs> yes. Or ghost. I'd be, I'd be good with that. No, just sister act. Just sister act? Two. Sister act two. two. Okay. Yeah. All right. Back All right. in the habit, guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, okay. Underrated for me. How about you, Jeremy? Okay, compared to other blow-up dolls, I'm going to say it's overrated. Compared to Whoopi herself, <laughs> it's way underrated. It's, <laughs> she's A blow-up doll would be way better than having actual Whoopi Goldberg here. Yep, I agree. All right. Well, that was overrated. She or used to be a respected comedian. I Can know. you guys believe that? No. Can't. Uh, but now moving on, now we get to get to questions and preguntas. Uh, again, guys, if you have any suggestions for this particular segment, you can send them to us at laughing on the sidelines, um, in our Instagram and on our TikTok. Uh, preferably Instagram though. Messages are nice. Uh, first question, what is a new baseball tradition you would like to see instead of the seventh inning stretch? They already have it. What is it? Well, they got rid of that, and now it's the eighth inning blowjob at the <laughs> Oakland game. Yeah! I would be down for that. Okay. All right. I like it. You're right. Uh, I did uh, the seventh inning streak. I think if you're going to streak, that's the time you do it. Seventh inning? Seventh inning. Uh, I think that's more of a top of the third. Nah, it's, no, because you want to see a little bit of the game. Seventh inning, you've had all the beer that they're going to let you have. Right. Because they stopped serving. Right. So, yeah, that would probably be prime streak time. Yep. Yeah, but you're going to be more agile top of the third. You're going to be drunk in the seventh. <laughs> He's got a point. He's got a point. Yeah, you yeah. cannot argue with that logic. Yeah, you're going to be able to cut on a dime. <laughs> then again, have you ever seen me when I'm really drunk, seven innings drunk? Dude, I'm doing back handsprings. Yeah. I'm doing ninja flips, all I, kinds of shit. Tell you what, I can see Jeremy doing the seventh inning streak, and then they just end up asking him to stay and play third. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even need a bat. <laughs> Yeah. Can you just play third? Just flat. Here's, a, here's some leather. Just Jeremy's, put the glove on. Jerry's out there doing the vanilla ice move where you jump through your leg. <laughs> no? I think you can do it. You think that's vanilla ice's move? Yeah. Like where you pick up your leg and jump through it like it's a jump rope? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's way predates <laughs> vanilla ice. I did not know that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's a standard <clears throat> breakdance move, Scotty, from I the early 80s. Oh, okay. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? What now? Oh, I, I would like to see them, uh, instead of the first pitch before the game, uh, take that out and uh, get rid of the seventh inning stretch and have them uh, ceremonially release a dog from his contract. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Next question. The taming of the wolves. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a Civil War reenactment, only with wolves. Right. <laughs> and them just getting fired and walking off defeated. Uh, next question. What is Jeremy Joseph thinking right now? Two more months of this bullshit. <laughs> Damn Two it. More you fucking months. nailed it. <laughs> That's exactly you what my answer was. fucking nailed it. Only more like six weeks. Yes. But six, <laughs> six weeks of this fucking shit that's it it's over no and more the, scotty and i can go back to managing the gobstopper glory holders <laughs> <laughs> yeah have they been giving you some calls no no oh can can i uh can i tell you what's actually in my head yes should i take up crash bandicoot <laughs> <laughs> you should okay all right next question I like to think it's a Brad Pistotnik commercial. Do I need to start with the first one? What do you mean? Crash Bandicoot. Or can I skip right to four? No, you should skip right Because that four. one won't save. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next question. The law and order sound should play whenever blank. Yeah, see, you have to explain this one to me. Okay. Um, it would have been absolutely hilarious if we were recording, but whenever you sat down and farted in my face and uh -huh. I got the fucking whiff of that shit and all of a sudden in the background you hear, that would have been fucking perfect. I can reenact it. No, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just call you like Bob because the, <laughs> the names have been changed to protect the innocent. Right. Yeah. But uh, How about you? That's Dragnet. 
Derek. That's oh yeah, complete that's, wrong. That's show. wrong. Di- different show. Yeah, damn it. Yeah. What about you, Derek? I don't know. I think anytime Antonio Brown tweets, <laughs> <laughs> that would, that would, it should just be a company for that. Wrong, wrong button. I clicked on the wrong thing. My bad. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Give the Jesus. buttons to Derek. He hit. He's a hundred percent. He's yeah. batting a thousand. For fuck's sakes. <laughs> Fine. Actually, that's pretty perfect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Explain the job Scotty does. Mm-hmm. I'm trying over here. You did hit record, right? Uh, yeah, I did. Thank God. We're good. <laughs> All right. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, anytime my wife starts talking, because I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that would get her to shut up mid sentence. Oh, dang it! I can't push the button. There it is. There's the or, boo. <laughs> I don't know where that one's at. But. Right there. All right. Anytime yeah, my wife she, talks. Yeah, she would just be like, "So I was wanting to ask you something. Now this Thursday, I know that we have plan. Dong dong." <laughs> Yeah. That would stop her conversation in the middle of her tracks. And she loves Law & Order, so she would just go right to the TV. <laughs> Great. All right. Uh, next question. What would be a great TikTok challenge for the older generation? Oh, uh, figuring out how to download TikTok on a rotary phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. That's a good one. I can't. It just keeps getting the busy signal. <laughs> I, I got a pretty good one. Okay. I think... Uh, you should have to try to get up off the couch without making any noise. I can't do that. I'm telling you. It'd be hard. Not, no, uh, none of that shit. Or sitting down and going, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> how about you, Jeremy? Uh, I, how to do one of those shuffle tutorials in a scooter, <laughs> like in a little rascal. A what? <laughs> you know, those shuffle tutorials where they dance. Oh. Where they show real slowly how to do the dance moves, and then they speed them up, do them real yes. fast. Okay, how to do one of those, but in your scooter. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So basically, just sitting there, yeah, looking okay. fair, just cow eyed at a fucking camera. Perfect. Uh, last question: What actor would play you in a biopic? Oh, I'm between Morgan Freeman, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm gonna go. Uh, Fat Jonah Hill. Okay. That's, <laughs> I think yeah. Fat Jonah Hill would be pretty accurate. Who was in... Uh, the Not Skinny Jonah Hill. No, I know. Yeah. How about... Who's the make a porno guy? Is that uh, Seth Rogen? Seth Rogen. I think that'd be a good you. Fat Jonah Hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fine. Uh, let's see. Me. Peter Dinklage, probably. I think that's mm-hmm. that's pretty yeah I that's mean, pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate as far as size goes. Mm-hmm. Has he ever worked a glory hole? He might have to study. I think so. Uh, he was pretty crazy in uh, Game of Thrones. I'm he, sure he did. Actually, you know who would be good for you for real? Like Seth Green. Seth Green. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's only like five foot four or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah but Seth Green's kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> he is. But he he's a good actor, so he can dumb it down. <laughs> Maybe. And the other one I was thinking he was can act incompetent. Elijah Wood. What was the other one I was thinking of? He's a Hobbit. Yeah, not in real life, Scotty. You know that. Oh, right? no. I thought he was really that short. Oh, well, yeah, I want to ruin things for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Um, who would play me? Well, uh, of course, the world's hottest chocolate, Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Uh, okay. If not him, <clears throat> this is going to be kind of an obscure reference. I don't know if anybody gets, but Army Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, uh, no, yeah. who the fuck? He, is? he was a pretty well-known actor in that most recent Disney Lone Ranger movie. He played the Lone Ranger in that. Okay. And then turns out the man is just a fucking sexual deviant from <laughs> hell. Like there's all kinds of... They did a made-for-TV movie about him recently Yeah. with all these women who have all these complaints about just what... like. Like it was his thing to like bite women and drink their blood oh, kind of thing. Oh shit! I did yeah. hear about this, dude. Yeah. Oh, and, and that's, that's kind of my thing too. Fuck. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I think Army Hammer. Oh god, I don't know. How about you, Derek? Who do you who do you think would play Jeremy? God, I have no idea. I, was, I if he was still alive, it would definitely be Chris Farley. Who's the kid that played Pugsley in the first Adams Family movie? Okay, there's that one. <laughs> Who's sure. That? I don't know. You're. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, we're talking 20 years ago now. Yeah. So, I mean, it, that could be pretty accurate. It's true. 
All right. Oddly enough, Christian Bale. <laughs> Who would have thought? I'm going to look this up now. Yeah, you go ahead. Uh, but that is questions and preguntas for this week. Again, if you have any ones that you want to send us, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, uh, at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram, we sincerely do appreciate any of the suggestions, just as long as they're good ones. Uh, Derek, have you found who it is yet? I've got a type, Scott. You got to speed it God the fuck damn. up, Scotty. Jeez, we've seen how you push buttons. Yeah, you uncoordinated fuck. You'd think you would have some mercy on him. No, I don't. None. Jimmy Zilt. Jimmy Workman. Jimmy Workman. That's oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> That's that kid who played Pugsley. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, him. All right. That's actually not bad. Yeah. No. Yeah. That is pretty good, isn't it? Just take the take the hair away. Oh, take the hair away. Yeah. yeah that's all just, right. That's pretty uh, that's like pretty a, accurate. Looks like a chubby Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I can see that. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, well, that is questions and preguntas. Now we get to move on to <clears throat> our new segment, which is what's in the box. Uh, we now have a P.O. box uh, here in Wichita, and I'm pulling it up so I give you the, the deal. Yeah, send it to Laughing on the Sidelines uh, at 7130 West Maple Street, Suite 230, Box 310 in Wichita, Kansas, 67209. And we've got ourselves our first box or package. Now, who uh, do we have music for this? No. Just beatbox, Jeremy? Yeah, beatbox, Jeremy. Well, I was thinking we could get that stupid German heavy metal band that you were talking about <laughs> last week. Rammstein? Wham? Yeah. Is that Wham? Do. No, they're do Haas. And what? one's dead. Yeah. We could probably get Andrew Ridgely, the other guy from Wham. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't doing nothing. So we've got our package here, and this package specifically says Derek Alders on it, spelled correctly, mind you. Yeah, that's so impressive. I'm going to go upstairs then. Yeah, this is actually going to be yours to open. Oh, the thing boy. that sucks, though, is it doesn't show who sent it. I'm hoping it does when you when you like open it up. Yeah, right? I'm it hoping. Looks like it's from Amazon. It looks like it is from Amazon. There so there's so there's that. That's probably from Bezos. I think he listens. Uh, it, yeah, it could be. I'm I, I'm not, not going to know for sure, but I'm going to guess that this is actually from a, a listener named Austin Lynch, I believe. In case I believe. he's going to be so pissed off, we were talking about SpaceX earlier. Probably. In case <laughs> this is anthrax, I'm just going to open it safely. Thanks, asshole. You want a knife? <laughs> Oh, I got it right here. I got a pen. It's even better than a knife. It writes and cuts. Oh, God. It almost came out at my face. Yeah, that's great. Gee. Can it write, though? Scotty pulled a knife on me. I, I pulled a knife on right. Derek. What is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a two pack shit. Of Lil Nitros. God damn it. Oh, I think that's one for each of you. No. Yeah. I'm leaving the show, so I. <laughs> Holy fuck. Pretty sure that's from I can tell Austin. you I will never ever do that again. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh boy. It, I'm I'm not angry <laughs> that I did it, shit. but I'm yeah, no. Oh mm -mm. boy. No. No. I am not. I uh -uh. think uh which one of you guys uh, do you want both of them, Scotty? No. Fuck yeah, that. Yeah, just fucking double fist it, Scotty. I'm Come on. I'm pretty sure this is from Austin and fuck you Austin. That's <laughs> uh, see? Mm -mm, no. Yeah, I don't think he Who's meant Austin? for me to eat this. I think he meant for me to distribute these. Oh no, that's got it's got this, your name on it. Yeah, to distribute. No, it's yeah. it's all for no, I you. I used to bartend. Remember this is like I'm the bartender. Here's your stuff. I uh, no. It's not, well, not the yeah, case. he bought Scotty a shot and you a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, thank fuck. you very much, Austin. Yes. Uh, I believe uh, Austin lives in St. Louis, Missouri, so shout out to him. I'm um, actually, you know what I'd like to do with these? What? Is uh, get some regular gummy bears at work and just be like, hey, you guys want one? Yeah, you and should just, do that. Uh, That'll fucking kill somebody, toss dude. Toss that in there? No bullshit. That could well, then the blood is on his hands. That's true. <laughs> when, yeah. Whenever you guys are uh, taking applications and every dumbass listener who wants to, like, you know, be take my spot. Mm -hmm. You got to tell them that's that's how they can do it. If they can eat both of those in one setting, okay, fair enough. They get my spot. Ooh, that's a good idea. Ooh, okay. If for nothing else, that would make good show fodder. Yeah, it would. It would. Yeah, and they have to do it on the air. Uh huh. At the beginning of the show, and they can't. <laughs> oh, no. They can't leave. Oh no, that's awful. No water. No. All right, ladies oh, and gentlemen, boy. well, that is uh, what's in the box. Again, you can send us your packages. We will open them live on the show. And um, a lot of these that we're getting don't have people's names on them. So if you would, 
find make it a, make there be a way to where we can give you a shout on the show. That makes it a little bit easier on our ourselves. I okay. really feel like we didn't play the game properly because that was more of a bag than a box. Well, it, it's in a box. It's in a box. It's that's right. in a box. We know that's what's in the box. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even have to ask once right. we saw that there were boxes. I, mm-hmm. think, I think you guys should have one. No, there. put it away. Now we get to move on to uh, a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, last week, we did uh, the worst things to use as lube, and uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Derek won. Right? Yeah, that maple syrup and super glue. Super I think, glue is, was, I the think, the winning picks I, I'm going to go with. Yeah, uh, that is uh, one of the God. do's and don'ts. That's a very unknown don't. They don't, <laughs> they don't even put that on the bottle. I can't believe they don't put that on the bottle. Don't put this on your penis and shove it in anybody's <laughs> ass. Yeah. <laughs> they should. Oh, Jesus. Uh, See, and, and the fact that he won just shows how stupid our fucking fans are. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're just fucking morons. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've been saying it for a while now. So Derek ends up getting the championship picks this draft. Jeremy took second, and I took last, so I get the first pick. And so uh, this week's draft is, uh, yeah, this is uh, Derek's idea. This is the worst places to celebrate Thanksgiving at. Restaurants. Restaurants restaurants to celebrate Thanksgiving at. So, uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and kick it right off then. I'm going to go with Golden Corral. You fucker. Mm Mm-hmm. And they don't have to necessarily be open on Thanksgiving. It's just, you know, go celebrate yeah. Thanksgiving at this place. There has to be at least one of them in business. Yes, exactly. Not, they don't have to be open that day, but they have to be in business. I don't even know if it, that even matters. Uh, Jeremy, you get your first pick, buddy. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese. God oh, damn, damn you. <laughs> you son of a bitch. That's all I need is no football on and a bunch of not <laughs> booger pickers. motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, wow. I, I mean, mean, the ski ball would be nice. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah. Damn just, it. just like the Indians did. Yeah. <laughs> that's where I was fucking going to, you cocksucker. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. That's right. Uh, Derek, well, you get two picks after getting your first two taken. Yep. Uh, Applebee's. Okay. Mm. Really? Because you're eating good in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Not the right neighborhood. Yeah. You don't like riblets? No. <laughs> yeah, what is a riblet? I don't know. It's the very end of the rib cage, like the piece that you, you got the throw away. Yeah, you got the the piece of you got the rib, the actual rib, and then there's like a piece of cartilage, and then there's a little nub that hangs on after that that like flexes. That's the riblet. God, <laughs> great. Uh, and let's go with uh, let's go with IHOP. Oh, I could do that. That doesn't sound that bad. Hmm. How about you, Jeremy? Little Caesars? Fuck. That's where I was going. Did they even have dine-in? No. No. You just but you got to stand, you gotta stand, stand there, there with the fucking box. Yep. And just eat it like an animal. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, to which point I see I get two. So I'm going to take, uh, let's see. I'm going to say Sonic right there in the drive through you guys are choosing fast food. Uh, well, I was trying to think of some other stuff, but uh, Chuck E. Cheese is not fast food. Yeah, no, but Sonic is, and yeah, but it's true. Little, Little Caesars, Caesars is, you know, hot and ready. Mm-hmm. And can I be honest? Not that hot. <laughs> no. Gosh, dang it! I'm trying to think of a place. God dang it! Derek, help me out here. No, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking took Golden Corral away from me. You can I, go fuck yourself, Scott. I did. I did take that away from you. Um, I, I guess I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Abuelos. I could do that. I don't think I want to eat Mexican food. On Thanksgiving. that's because you're racist. No, it's just because I want turkey. God that's, damn it! What? Really, Abuelos? Yeah. How about You're talking that? like one of the best Mexican restaurants in town. <laughs> I love Mexican food. I know, but it's a chain. I can't say Carlos O'Kelly's. 
Tree can. Oh, well then give me Carlos O'Kelly's. I just did it because I wanted I wanted Carlos uh, O'Kelly's is a chain too. Is it is it just in the Midwest? Uh, I don't know. I no, think I, I think that's nationwide. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'll take it the I'll take the Irish Mexican food. Yeah. Carlos O'Kelly's is what I meant. Okay. Uh you go ahead and go uh Jeremy. Um Okay, this place is uh, a little bit uh obscure. There's only one of them and it's in Minneapolis. Uh, <laughs> the Sioux Chef. <laughs> the Sioux Chef? S I O U X. Okay. Is in Sioux Indians. Oh, nice. For uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I dig it. Uh, all right. Derek. Uh, I am going to go along the lines of my last one and go Denny's. Ooh, yeah. So that's actually worse than IHOP. Yeah, that's way worse. You want worse. a Thanksgiving slam? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. And another restaurant I fucking despise, Chili's. Ooh, really? You don't like Chili's? I fucking hate Chili's. Don't oh. want ribless? Don't want baby backs? No, my. I do not like Chili's. That's awful. I can't believe that you... Now, you want to talk about some good chicken strips. They're chicken crispers. Oh, they got that. They're batter dipped. They're not breaded. They're batter dipped. Okay, uh, Jeremy. Yeah, what you got, buddy? What 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 what's going on? It's your pick. Um, what all have you picked so far, Scotty? Uh, Golden Corral, Sonic, and Carlos Achilles. Okay. Shoney's. What? Oh. Shoney's. What is Shoney's? It's a shitty restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with, and this counts because they do sell food now. I'm going to go with Starbucks because fuck you. Get your pumpkin spice? No, fuck that place. That's one of the worst places on planet Earth. Um, and then I guess I will go with, um, I, I'm going to go with, fuck, I don't want, I like that place. Mm-mm-mm. I can't. I don't know. Where, where, where else should I go? Um, um, fuck. Uh, I'll go with the Great Wall. Okay. Great Wall Chinese food. They got really good Chinese food. <laughs> no, they don't. I don't. I don't like it. It's pretty good. Nope. All right. So that's uh, that's my last pick. Uh, Jeremy, what's your last pick? Uh, Perkins. <laughs> Perkins. <laughs> you can get something out of the fucking wishing well. Yeah. How, how, how come you can't do that? Perkins even exist. Is it real? I think so. Is it real? It is real. Okay. Yes. Or at have... least it used to be. Okay. I'll let it slide. And then, Derek, you get your last pick, dude. Uh, I'm trying to find it, but it, it would so obscure you guys wouldn't let me have it anyway. Okay. There's an American restaurant in Venice. Actually, it is the, in can Venice, I change- Italy. Go ahead. Can I change mine? Sure. Uh, instead of Perkins, because nobody's going to know what that means. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> well, one person. That's, wishing that's well. a joke for one. <laughs> yeah, we can go in there and wish more people knew about it. Uh, <laughs> Sabaros. <laughs> oh, best fucking pizzas on the face of the planet at the mall. <laughs> okay. uh, what's your Without last? Without a doubt, top five pizza places at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Greasy as hell. Derek, what's your last place? Oh, man. I keep going breakfast. I don't want to do it, but God, it's such a shithole. <laughs> and I love to eat there. Yep. Say it. Waffle House. Yep, that's it. The awful waffle. Yeah, it is such a shithole, but I love eating there. Yep. You uh, like hats? <laughs> I love hats. <laughs> no, there's a fucking American restaurant in Venice, Italy. And it is the, that's what I was looking for. I couldn't find the name of it. It is the tackiest fucking thing you'll ever see. Like there's fucking like a buffalo head on the wall. You walk in and like the first front of it is like, it's set up like Native Americans, like Indian times. Like Ted's Ooh. Montana? I, oh no, it's way worse. I'd seen pictures. My buddy ate there because I thought it looked hilarious. And I can't remember the fucking name of it. Wow. Any honorable mentions? Oh, I do Bowling alley, but it's not a restaurant. I kept on thinking places like that. Yeah. Um, but they have to, like, order food and shit, and that's where I kind of was stumped. Any vegan place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like Doc Green's. Oh, fuck uh, that. Yes. That would suck. That's not vegan. 
No, but it's all salads and shit. <laughs> yeah. And, and sandwiches and soup and mm. shit I like. Okay. Well, they actually make a good salad. Okay, fair enough. Chef Fuck salad. Pussy. Mostly ham and chicken. Okay. Well, Perkins is shit. I, I, you know what I should have took? Fucking Perkins. Perkins. You should have. Son of a bitch. I would have won. <laughs> You maybe you go there and wish that you could have taken that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you can go to Facebook.com on Wednesday before noon and vote by clicking on your on the corresponding remote emoji for the list of places that we would not like to spend uh, spend if, celebrating Thanksgiving. If you could pick an obscure place, like from some vacation you've been on or some place that you would like to, p- just pick one. Where would it be? An obscure place for what? That you would like to spend Thanksgiving that I that I've been to or that, that you've I've never been, been to. to, yeah, place mm-hmm. that you've been to. Oh gosh! Oh man, I don't know. Twin Peaks on vacation. Scotty yeah. goes to Twin Peaks. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, like you know a- that chain restaurant. Like, okay, <laughs> you would be that fucker. I guess in New York City at Times Square, there's always a line out the fucking door at the TGI Fridays. Because <laughs> really? you can't get that anywhere else. Wow. But, I didn't know that. But, you know, the best cuisine in the world right there in New York City. And, uh, yeah, people go to TGI Fridays. No, I, it, really, though, I, I would say Bristol in Kansas City. Okay. I, I fucking, that's, oh, it's amazing. Derek, do you have one? I have a couple. Okay. Uh, one I can't even remember the name of, but it was a, Bar, an Irish bar I went to in New York City on our honeymoon and had seafood curry. Ooh. And it is some of the best stuff I've ever eaten in my life. Um, wow. That, or there's a place in Tulsa. We were four wheeling down in uh, Keystone Lake in Tulsa, and there's an Italian place there that was probably one of the best meals I've ever had in my life, which was called Via Ravenna. Hmm. And it was fucking amazing. Wow. I guess I'm oh, actually, that. shit. Can I change my last pick? I think it fits better. What? Texas Day Brazil, <laughs> That's, which is where my buddy Brian is spending Thanksgiving. Wow. But uh, I will shit the entire meal. Oh, <laughs> I would rather have Waffle House than Texas Day Brazil. Okay. Are you good with it, Jeremy? Yeah, I guess. Can okay. I get mine? I haven't given mine. What? Oh, oh. yeah. Your, pl- your place? Yeah. Yeah. Earl of Sandwich. Earl of Sandwich. Really? In yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's one in Vegas. There's one in Orlando. I've never been. And I believe there's one in uh, at at downtown Disney in uh, in Anaheim. Man, I ordered it once, but I was too drunk to eat it. Oh God, they're some of the best drunk sandwiches. <laughs> really? They got a roast beef and cheddar with this like horseradish sauce on it. That I don't even like horseradish, but this sauce is fucking amazing. Wow. Well, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. On the uh, morning of July 28th, 1945, Lieutenant Colonel William F. Smith, that's William fucking Smith, (laughs) was piloting his B-25 Mitchell from Bedford Army Air Base in Massachusetts to New York Metropolitan Airport in New Jersey. As he neared his destination, uh, he was advised against landing due to zero visibility because of very dense fog. Despite the warning, Smith chose to proceed and, wouldn't you know it, crashed into the Empire State Building. (laughs) Oh, fuck. You know, don't you fucking hate it when that happens? He crashed (laughs) into the north side of it and uh, made an 18 foot by 20 foot hole in the north face of it. The building was not structurally compromised, however. Um, The crash did kill all three members of the crew, as well as 11 office workers. one notable serious injury was to uh, elevator operator Betty Lou Oliver. Uh, one of the engines came off the plane and went down the elevator shaft and exploded on top of the car, which uh, threw her from the elevator car onto the 80th floor. Uh, she had very severe burns. When first aid workers came, they kind of tended to her, and then they put her... Uh, sent her down on another elevator car on a gurney. Um, Apparently, it got damaged as well, and the cable snapped, and she fell 75 stories 
Uh, but the fall is kind of cushioned by the air cushion that forms underneath of the elevator car. Uh, so she was able to uh, survive that with a broken neck and a broken back. Uh, what this really did was just kind of drive home the point that women don't belong in the workplace. <laughs> and uh, now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, get back in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Holy shit. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough bit. <laughs> it's a tough to bitch. not die through all that. Wow. You got hit by an airplane and an elevator crash. <laughs> wow. Okay. Must not have been an Otis, right? No way it was an Otis. <laughs> no way. They, they actually <laughs> design Otises to survive a direct hit from a commercial airliner. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is would you rather... Have everyone else know exactly what you're thinking about all of the time? Or would you rather know what everyone else is thinking about all the time? Who? This is a this is a kind of a tricky one. I don't want somebody seeing me walk down the street and just go, look at this fat ass like, <laughs> every day of my life. Well, not just the days I walk. Uh-huh, yeah. I know. But uh, but then again. I don't need somebody. I don't need people knowing what I'm fucking thinking about all the time either. Like when I see somebody walking down the street and I'm like, look at this fucking asshole. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with what I would rather people know what I'm thinking about all the time. Really? Because I think that I can tune my brain out to think nothing. Okay. And I think that would be safer. I think for me, this is, uh, I'm going to know what other people are thinking. It's a safety mechanism at that point. You're going to know if somebody's going to attack you and all that other shit. I'm granted it's going to come with some freaky. Everybody wants to attack you. Uh, see, I know. Uh, but it's going to come with some freaky shit, and that's okay. Uh, but you don't want to be in my fucking head. I guarantee it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to know what everybody else is thinking. And it's not even close. Jeremy? Oh, I want people to know what I'm thinking. <laughs> um <laughs> I can't stand most of the shit that comes out of people's mouths, <laughs> let alone hear all the shit that got caught in the filter on its way out. <laughs> That's the last thing I want from everybody. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> if they can hear what I'm thinking right away without me having to do anything, they just know I fucking hate them and hope they shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a win-win situation, honestly. Okay, fair enough. All right. Good show, guys. It's been a lot of fun, right? Sure. Yeah. Jeremy? Yeah. I mean, it's it's been it's a good. show. I mm-hmm. mean, uh, yeah. it's been about an hour and a half. Yeah, mm-hmm. something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, it was kind of a tough one for me because I, I'm a little foggy uh, still today. So I uh, was up late last night at the glory hole. No. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Can't see clear. Eyes are full of jizz. That's right. right. Okay. Uh, to crusted in. shot. You're not supposed to speak in there, Scotty. Oh. That, that's, yeah, it's not, supposed to remain anonymous. That's yeah. the point of a glory hole. Yeah, you learned your lesson, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, but now I'm watching a halftime show of, like, in Mexico, like, mariachi singers or some shit. What do we got going on here, guys? Those are gauchos, oh. Scotty. Oh, okay. All well, right. no, they might be mariachis. There's an accordion in there. <laughs> There's an accordion, a guitar, yeah, and a crazy dude with a weird outfit. No good music ever incorporated a squeeze box. I'm sorry. It just never did. That guy has a Macho Man Randy Savage vest on. Okay, seriously. (laughs) Who, how many fucking bass players do you need? (laughs) Look at the percussionists in the background. And listen, you know I'm all about the bass. Okay. No trouble. No trouble. But they've got two bass players, and that shouldn't happen. (laughs) That's redundant. They've got clarinet players over here. Of course. Okay. Clarinet rocks. Yeah. Put your flute. Like, that guy looks like he's getting ready to snap it to a slim yim. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, yeah. Snap it to a slim yim. <laughs> That's good. Uh, but anyways, do we have any uh, shows coming up, Derek? Nothing you can fucking go to. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Private party, and I'm hosting a contest tomorrow. So. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That contest is Wednesday, sold out, Wednesday. right? Uh, if not, it will be very quickly. Yeah. So tonight yeah. is when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. So, so get usually, your tickets. Usually those guys fill that thing up as quick as they mm-hmm. can. Nice. Okay. Because think applause helps. Yes. Right. Yeah. It, it's one of the categories. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I have not been asked to judge. 
<laughs> but if I am, I will have to de- decline it. There After I bribed you in the last years, then yeah. they probably were like, yeah, oh, I can't have that anymore. Where's that extra cash coming from? <laughs> right. Well, anyways, guys, thank you very, very much for uh, helps uh, growing this show. We sincerely do appreciate uh, everybody, especially on the TikToks, uh, sharing and, and uh, commenting. That helps out a lot. Uh, and it just keeps uh, growing the show. And so, uh, yeah, we thank you for that. And like we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. And if you don't like us... We hope you get shot in the face with a goddamn potato gun. <laughs> if you don't like us... And tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Gobble, gobble, motherfuckers. <laughs> until next time... Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.